Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. You guys always ask me how I'm able to be productive all the time and how I manage to build a good routine. So today I thought I would show you guys my 8 tips on how to bring more structure into your life and how to be more productive. One of the most powerful and most important things to me is my nighttime routine. If you guys want to know more about my nighttime routine in detail, I will link my videos on that for you down below. But in the end, it's not about that one perfect nighttime routine sort of as a quick fix. It's about creating a nighttime routine that suits you and your needs. Great night routine sets the day ahead and to me it's even more important than a productive morning routine. You won't get anywhere when you're tired and drained, so calm yourself down after a day of work or school. Easing your mind and nurturing your soul is essential. You want to be productive? Well, then also learn to effectively refill your batteries. Get in enough sleep, skip the TV and socials the hour before bed. If that works for you, I know people who can only fall asleep with the TV on. And wake up fully recharged. Speaking of waking up, no, tip number two is not bluntly wake up early or wake up at 6am because that does not work for everyone and I know that. What I would rather tell you is to wake up at a time that works best for your biorhythm, where you can use your energies most effectively. I have learned that my 8am days are my most productive days, so do some trial and error because learning about your energy levels is the best thing to be more productive. Good morning. Ah. Such a nice day, the weather is so nice, which makes me so happy. And I'm so excited to get the day started and to be productive today. I'm also really happy to present you today's sponsor, which is Azam Beauty. Now, all my German followers probably already know what Azam Beauty is for everyone else. Azam Beauty is a cosmetics brand which produces makeup, skincare, fragrances, and that of the best kind. The quality that they produce is insane. It's great for any skin type. And they work closely with dermatologists, which makes it suitable even for sensitive skin like mine. I'm really excited to be working with Azam Beauty because I've been using their makeup products for years now. Their foundation was my OG foundation back in the day and I'm still using it up until this day. And I'm just really excited to show you a little bit more about their makeup products later on during my makeup routine. But for now, Let's get back into the video. Okay, we're not necessarily following the chronological order of an entire day with tip number three, but incorporate some sort of exercise into your days whenever you can. This can be a walk, yoga, pilates, a gym session, I found that whenever I move my body, I can focus much better on my work, but when I move too much, all I want to do is sleep. So I'm trying to schedule my workout plan around my to-dos. On days where I have a lot on my plate, I will do a lighter workout like today where I went with a morning Pilates session. And on days where I barely have anything to do, I will smash a mega leg day at the gym. To cut a long story short, working out and moving my body makes me more productive. Tip number four is a no-brainer and one of my personal faves. It seems to be so contradicting, but invest time into yourself, get ready, build a self-care routine in the morning. Somehow we like to have engraved into our minds that we should neglect our appearance to feel and to be seen as someone powerful, but no. I feel most powerful and motivated when I'm actually ready for the day, and my makeup routine is part of that. As I already mentioned earlier, I'm partnering up with Azam Beauty for today's video and I've been using their makeup product for years now. I also really like their self tanning drops for the face and their Manoi Summer Fragrance, but for the makeup, I pretty much used all of their products for my base today and it's just such a minimal and natural look once you work everything in. The foundation melts into your skin and adapts right to it. You do not end up feeling heavy or cakey. I mean, I like makeup. Well, not too much of it because I still want my skin to feel like skin and to not be distracted throughout the days. And Azam Beauty is honestly perfect for that. Make sure to check out Azam Beauty via the link below. Moving on to step number five, which is small but significant, at least in my opinion. 
keep your surroundings clean, do the laundry, the dishes, clean up your bathroom, the list goes on. Since I know that a lot of people do not live on their own, I would keep one thing for this list that you should keep tidy every day, your bed. Once you make this a habit, you just feel so empowered and organized and ready for the day once this task is done. And I don't know, it makes me feel so much more productive. Tip number six, we are not reinventing the wheel. We are keeping things basic here. What can I miss on your average basic bring structure into your life list? A to-do list. It's bland, it's boring, it has been done before many times, but it is so good and so essential and it really does work. I write mine both on my computer and handwritten, but when I schedule out my days, I usually do that digitally only. Tip number seven, is it a lucky number or a bad one? Up to you, I guess, but good nutrition. It probably seems like, why the heck should I care about nutrition when I want to be more productive? Well, because it pretty much is your fuel. When you eat bad, your body does not work the way it should. Now, I'm not here to tell you about the perfect diet because I believe everyone's diet is unique. But for me personally, from my experience, having a diet based on mainly whole foods whilst also allowing myself to have some treats every once in a while, works best. Whenever my diet is poor, I undereat. I eat fast food too much. I'm tired and I cannot really work. So don't skip over your diet because it is quite important. Last but not least, tip number eight. Probably the most important one, have fun whilst you do it. Do things you enjoy, have fun whilst you do your chores. Life is too short to be focused on being perfect and on delivering good work only. Work and school are part of my life and yes, they are important and I do enjoy being productive, but when this is all that you have and do, you will end up being burnt out. So each day, take some rest. Maybe don't work till late into the night. Allow yourself some downtime. This whole list is pretty much a full cycle because we are back at where we started. If you want to be productive, you'll also have to be able to rest. Life is a cycle. Every day the sun sets, the moon rises, the stars come out, and after a while sunbeams will tickle your face and you will wake up again. You get up, you drink your morning coffee, and you do your best. Every day, over and over again. And every day, you have the choice to make the most out of it.